Our book today is called Insect Quest, Hide and Seek. This book is written by Clarissa Martinez and Aaron C. Griffs. Those are the authors. They wrote the words for the book. And they're also the people who put the pictures or photographs into this book. Insects have interesting ways of hiding from danger. Their bodies, colors, and markings help them camouflage or blend into their surroundings to hide in plain sight. Do you think you can find the insects that are hiding? Join these children in their insect quest and find out. There's something different about the, that leaf. Do you see it too? Look, it's a luna moth. Luna moths are some of the largest moths in North America. Adults are over four inches wide because they are nocturnal, which means they are active at night. Luna moths are sometimes called moon moths. The word luna means moon in Spanish. The wings are green to help the moth hide in the leaves of trees. Interesting fact, luna moths have eye spots on their wings to confuse predators. Just like butterflies, luna moths start out as caterpillars. That's a funny looking branch on that tree. Hmm, take a closer look. What do you see? I spy a walking stick. A walking stick is a type of insect whose color and body shape make it look like a stick on a tree. You might spy young walking sticks during the day when they are active. But walking adult sticks are not nocturnal. Their eyes are sensitive to sunlight. Interesting fact. The walking stick is one of the world's largest insect. A walking stick body is hard and bumpy, just like a branch or a twig. Is there something crawling on top of the yellow flower? It is hard to see. What could it be? It's a honeybee. In a honeybee colony, there are many different jobs. The queen bee lays the eggs. Nurse bees feed the bee larvae, which are the baby bump bees that look like worms. And then the worker bees build the honeycomb. And drones fertilize the eggs. They all work together to help the colony grow. Interesting fact, honeybees use honeycombs to lay their eggs. Did you know bees are responsible for pollinating flowers and plants? Ooh, what's that resting over there on those leaves? I see eyes and legs. What could it be? Ah, now I see that it's a grasshopper. Grasshoppers love to eat plants, which means they can sometimes be pests in farms and gardens. When grasshoppers join together, they can eat an entire field of plants, ruining the hard work of farmers and gardeners. A grasshopper's green color helps it hide among leaves and grass. Interesting fact, grasshoppers are so good at jumping, so good in fact that they can jump up to 20 times their own body length. Imagine if you could jump that far. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play hide and seek with a butterfly. Can you see it? Look carefully. There it is. It's a leaf wing butterfly. Leaf wing butterflies are masters of disguise. When they fly, you can easily see their bright red and orange colors. But when they rest, they camouflage making them blend right in with the fallen leaves. Interesting fact, leaf wing butterflies are difficult to spot because they typically live on trees or on branches or even in the ground. It's easy to see how the leaf wing butterfly is so good at hiding. Look at the similarities between this one and an autumn leaf. Take a closer look there in the grass, something silent and still. <gasps> what do you see? Hey, I see a praying mantis. Praying mantis' colors and bodies help them blend into the green leaves. They can turn their heads almost all the way around to see behind them. 
This helps praying mantises look around to find something tasty to eat. How far can you turn your head? Interesting fact, two Chinese martial arts have movements and strategies based on those of the praying mantis. When praying mantises feel threatened by a predator, they stand up and spread their four legs to appear bigger. Look at the beautiful flowers, but is there something more? Do you see it too? It looks like a ladybug. Not all ladybugs are red. Many are yellow or orange. These bright colors help them blend into flowers, but their colors and black spots also help to protect them by sending a message to predators saying, stay away, I'm dangerous and don't taste good. Interesting fact, when a ladybug flies, its wings beat 85 times every second. Ladybugs are most active when their body temperature is 75 degrees or warmer. Today, we found insects that use camouflage to hide from predators. Can you remember their names? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. That is the end of our book. I hope you enjoyed it.